Hey everybody, how you doing? Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own vanilla Minecraft server on CentOS 7.4 64-bit server. So what you need is you need a VPS with at least CentOS 7.4 64-bit. And what we're going to do is I've created a VPS over at DigitalOcean. So this is a brand new VPS, so what I'm going to do is connect into there right now. Okay, and then I'm going to hit accept, and I'm going to log in as root. Okay, put in the current password and then put in the current password again and then add in a new password then retype that new password okay now that I'm in there what we're gonna do is the first thing we need to install some programs so I always make sure everything's up to date by typing in yum update tack y okay and what that's gonna do is that's gonna check for any updates that are there and the tack y what that does is that automatically says yes if something's there automatically install it Okay, so it looks like that's done. We're going to clear that out. We're going to go yum upgrade tack y. Okay, so again, that's yum upgrade tack y. Okay, that looks good. We're going to clear that out. Now we're going to install the software that we need. So first we're going to install nano. That's our text editor. So we're going to go yum install nano tack y. So it's yum install nano tack y. Hit enter. Okay, and it looks like that's going to download and install it. Clear that out. And next, what we're going to do is install wget. So I'm going to go yum install wget tack y. Yum install wget tack y. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then we're going to install screen. Okay, so we're going to go yum install screen tack y. Okay, so that should install for us. Perfect. Okay, then what we're gonna do is in order to run the server, we need Java. So we're gonna go yum install java-1.8.0 dash open JDK, tack y, okay? And then that's gonna install Java. Now it can take a little bit, uh, depending on the speed of the server. Uh, this usually installs pretty quickly. So the um, next part is we're going to create a directory for Minecraft and download the jar file and get pretty much everything up and running. Now, a lot of tutorials suggest that you make a brand new user for this called Minecraft. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to continue in root, but it's completely up to you if you want to do that. Okay, so next what we're going to do is go MKDIR and we're going to call it Minecraft. Okay, and that's going to make a Minecraft directory. So if we go ls, that's going to show us that the directory is right here. Next, we're going to cd into that directory. So we're going to go cd Minecraft. Or what you can do is you can start typing in mi and then hit tab and it'll automatically generate it. Next, ls, nothing's in there, so it's an empty directory. Now what we need to do is actually download that jar file. So what we're going to do is you can go to the Minecraft website and you can get the link to download this, but I'll put it in the description. So we're going to go wget and then paste in that link. Hit enter. And then what it's going to do is it's going to download that jar file. Perfect. Now the next step is creating a screen session. And the reason we do this is because if I start the server up and then I disconnect from my session right here, the server will stop and we don't want to do that. So we want the server to continue even when we're not um, SSH'd into the server. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in screen, tack capital S, and then we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it MC server. Okay, now I'm in that session right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in the Java command and what that's going to do is it's going to run that jar file. Now what's going to happen is this will fail, but that's okay. So just kind of explain this is going to run the server at one gig of RAM. Now I have three gigs for this VPS, so it should have no problem running it whatsoever. So let's hit enter. And again, this will fail, but that's okay. We're going to fix that. Now, if for some reason you get a weird error when you do try to um, get this to run and it has nothing to do with this right here, then please make sure to double check that uh, Java version that you installed because I did do this at one time and it just kept failing and failing and failing and I realized the Java was not compatible with that version of the server. So anyways, if you see this, this is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in nano. And then we're going to type in the uh, 
EU, and then you can just tab that, and then that's going to bring us in here. Next, what we're going to do is come down here to where it says false, and we're going to turn that to true. Okay, hit Control X Y, enter. Okay, clear that, and then you can kind of tab up on your um, keyboard there, and then just hit enter one more time. And what's going to happen is it's going to start the server. Now, if it works, we're going to start seeing that's creating the blocks for the server. Perfect, preparing the world. Okay, now what you need to do is grab that server IP, and all right, that's doing that, and then open up your Minecraft game. So I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna open up my Minecraft game. Takes a little bit to run that anyway, so that's okay. And then once the game opens, come over here to multiplayer and then you can hit add server but I already have that there so I'm just gonna hit edit come down here and put in that VPS IP hit done okay perfect all right so here's what's gonna happen it looks like uh, this is done which is good so what I'm gonna do here is we need to disconnect from this now before we do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit control a D at the same time that's going to disconnect us from our screen session, okay? Now, if we want to see the current sessions that we have, what you can do is type in screen, tac ls, and that's going to show us that we have this session running and that we're detached from it. Now, if we need to get back into there to shut down the server or do any changes, what we can do is type in screen, tac, capital R, and then the name, MC server. Perfect. See, that brought us right back in there. All right. Now what I'm going to do is, it says it can't connect, but it can, so I'm just going to hit the thing there, and we should be able to connect. And if all works out, you should see your very own brand new Minecraft server. At least that's what we all can hope. <laughs> but yeah, it should load up fine. Perfect. Logging in. That's a good sign. And there we go. Well... Ah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, uh, I think we have a server. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Well, everybody, that is how you create your very own Minecraft server. Again, it's vanilla, so it's very basic, but it's your very own server. So, again, thank you guys so much for uh, watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know um, in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out but it's pretty simple and I'll put everything that I told you in the description so uh, again thank you so much for watching and remember to like share and subscribe